man, back in the 80s. You want to have fun? You make prank calls, or some people call them crank calls. You know, you call up a bowling alley and you say, hey, have you got eight pound balls? And they say, yeah, and you say, well, how do you walk? Stuff like that. Is your refrigerator running? You better go catch it. Stuff like that. In the 90s, when Star 69 came out, if, you, if, if someone calls you, hangs up, you press star 69, it'll call back the person who just called you and you bust them. Ruin prank calls forever. Um, and then the Jerky Boys came out. Jerky Boys were these comedians, I guess you call them comedians, um, who would record these prank calls and they'd do voices and it was really annoying, but it was very popular for, for a short time and I think like 92, 93. Um, this is something that millennials never, never get to do because, you know, you got, you got the caller ID, once you got phones, it's built right into it, you know exactly who's calling. Those are fun times, good clean fun. I guess it wasn't fun for the, uh, for the poor guy answering the phone at, at McDonald's asking if they got, uh, sesame seed buns, you know, innuendo. Something we did. Back in the 80s. A lot of cool things you could do back in the 80s. You know, we'd ride our bikes around pretty much the whole town. You'd, you'd, you'd walk up the railroad tracks. These are things that would give me nightmares if, if my kids were doing them. You don't walk the railroad tracks, you, you're gonna find a dead body like, uh, like Stand By Me. Spoiler alert, that's what happens in Stand By Me. It's a different time. I'm glad I grew up when I did.